Okay. Um, well, good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce, as this afternoon's Grand Round Speakers, uh, one of our affiliate faculty members and also a part-time supervisor of residence, uh, Dr. Richard Meyer. Dr. Meyer is a graduate of the Medical College of Virginia, and he completed his psychiatry residency at the uh, New York Downstate Medical Center in Brooklyn. Uh, he spent much, much of his career in the Hartford, Connecticut area, uh, both in the private practice of adult psychiatry, but also as a member of the attending staff at the Hartford Hospital and also uh, at the Institute of Living. During part of that time, he also had an appointment as assistant professor or of clinical psychiatry at the University of Connecticut Medical School. Since arriving to Tucson in 2005, he has engaged in a private practice and also served as a staff psychiatrist at Sierra Tucson. Since 1980, he has been involved in the training of others in intensive short-term dynamic psychotherapy by Dr. Habib uh, Davenlu. And this afternoon, uh, Dr. Meyer will be discussing the therapy in his talk entitled Intensive Short-Term Dynamic Psychotherapy. Dr. Meyer. Um, I'd like to thank you for inviting me here today to speak about uh, intensive short-term dynamic psychotherapy. There are a number of types of psychotherapy that are labeled intensive short-term dynamic psychotherapy. I'm going to be focusing on the one that was developed by Dr. Davenlu. Um, the best way to do this kind of a presentation is with uh, videotapes of live interviews, but because of confidentiality issues, that's not possible to do in this setting. So I'm going to use um, some descriptions of, uh, clinical uh, of a clinical vignette and then some dialogue from the therapy uh, of that uh, particular person. I'd like to start with a brief description of, um, of a recent session uh, with a patient uh, to provide some introduction to uh, ISTDP. The patient noted that he was uh, struggling with anger and he had recently had a flash of anger in relation to his wife, which he described uh, as a brief uh, hot flush in his face accompanied by an increase in heart rate. Uh, he noticed that the anger quickly turned to anxiety um, and he withdrew from the setting with his wife uh, to, go, to go to bed to shut down the feelings. I began to question him about the split second that he experienced the flash of anger um, uh, and, uh, he, uh, and he became very vague and indecisive in his uh, uh, description. He also became intellectualized. These defenses were pointed out, and then the patient became helpless to respond to my question about uh, how, he experienced, how he experienced the anger. Uh, he noted that he became anxious in the session as uh, I was questioning him, um, and the uh, anxiety was experienced as tension in his muscles. The situation in the session, therefore, became parallel to the situation that he was describing uh, in, with his uh, wife. Uh, he was experiencing some feelings in the session, and they, uh, be and they quickly switched to anxiety. The interaction then moved to the transference relationship, the relationship between the patient and myself. I asked him how he felt toward me uh, as a result of my asking him questions about his anger. He stated that he felt like a school child um, and that he um, couldn't get the right answer uh, for the teacher. Finally, he smiled and stated that he was becoming irritated with me. I asked him how he experienced the irritation toward me, and after hesitation and a couple of uh, interactions uh, having to do with his helplessness and avoidance, uh, he noted that he was getting a rise in feeling and felt as if he could throw the desk across the room. This was obviously a displacement of his anger for me to the desk. When, when pressed about his experience uh, toward me, he said that he was afraid of what my reaction might be, and then he had a spontaneous memory of, uh, of a situation with a teacher from, uh, from the, when he was age six. The teacher caught him punching another student and then grabbed the patient uh